This is intended to be a big printer for superstructure that it's impossible to build with the traditional techniques because uh, for, pre for uh, these, uh, these complex structures you needed to put a, sh a mold of wood in one face, in the other and then cast in the middle but it's very difficult for uh, from uh, carved structures okay. so this is the bottom part of a double membrane mm -hmm. printer bottom side mm -hmm. top side the bottom membrane gives the shape of the bottom part of the piece the top membrane from the top uh, gives the shape of the top uh, surface mm -hmm. so uh, Using, using digital data, you can take any shape, very complex in space, divide it with a specific algorithm, and then send each piece to Zhao. Zhao is the name of the project. I'm a structural engineer, so it's oriented to uh, concrete, but it can, it can be used to print uh, uh, clay, plastic, uh, foam, depending on the weight of the material, you have to design a specific system. Okay. At the end of the printing of all the pieces, you recompose the full structure, connecting it, each piece to the other. So you can obtain a structure impossible to be casted with traditional techniques. My friend in Rome developed a, a machine at, based on a video that can control a aquarium uh, simulating the entire uh, day and night with lights, uh, uh, temperature. The, the project is entirely modeled in uh, using a, a software of three-dimensional modeling. It's printed and uh, it takes about uh, four months of work. Mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning, I have no idea of electronics. <laughs> uh, this is maybe one of the first uh, bridges between uh, structural engineering and the fantastic world of Arduino. Mm -hmm. It is perfect to control okay. this fantastic idea. <laughs>